And welcome back. Round two, squad ops on Whirlwind on this Saturday. So now we're going to look at it from the same side, but different teams. We swap teams, so we'll get to see what the uh, different commanders come up for us here. Let's go over the op again real quick here uh, for anyone that's joined us since then. Uh, so it's an attack and defend op. Uh, but the assets go as follows. Each U.S. squad gets two AR, one LAT, one GL, one Medic. They also get a Humvee and Logi truck with a transport. And they can throw down one FOB, and then with that FOB, they can build two heavy machine guns. The insurgents get two AR, one LAT, one Scout, one Medic. They also get the artillery truck, Logi truck, and then they can build SPGs emplacements and Dishka emplacements. So a pretty loaded op. Every, every sides get most of uh, what they... Are, is available to them. Uh, the objective is basically attack and defend. So the U.S. are tasked with sweeping in and taking out uh, this radio t tower emplacement uh, and the fob that's there, and the insurgents defend it. Uh, that's basically all it is. The only mobility restrictions we've put in is infantry, uh, excuse me, vehicles must cross bridges. So that I believe there's three or four uh, bridges they can cross. Uh, infantry can cross water wherever. Um, but yeah, that's that's the gist of it. it. Tends to be a lot of maneuvering initially, and then uh, good, solid, constant engagements in the later half. Uh, the first round, we saw some good flanking, side switching going on there, uh, some surprise ambushes. It's good stuff. Good 50 cals. Um, yeah, this is a one life event. Check us out. Squad lop. Squad. Squad lops. Squad ops. Gg. Uh, so yeah, when you, you go down once, that's it, you're, you're done, then you get to watch from above, you can't talk. Uh, we try to be, draw the fine line between Arma 3 realism and Battlefield realism, so. Come check us out, it's easy to get into these. Squad Ops at GG, join us, and join us on Discord, hang out, good bunch of people. It's not a clan, it's just a community, people are pretty friendly for the most part. Try to be mature and welcoming. And if you uh, saw us during the break there, we uh, run a little training course that is required to join us on the ops just to make sure everyone has the maturity to go through one of them and also keeps everyone on the same level as far as basic verbiage and formations and things like that, which you wouldn't think about, you know, oh, whatever, it's a video game. Those aren't very important, but they actually do help out quite a bit. And some basic yeah, concepts, there, bounding, there, suppression, I'm, cover versus concealment, road. things like that. Yeah, Not terribly yeah, advanced, but it's actually quite a bit of fun. Like balls, so, so, so the U.S. are still like trying, to trying to figure out what they want to do here. Their task is a lot harder in the planning phase here because they have a lot of options. This is a very large map, somewhat open. Um, not a lot of massive elevation. Elevation changes, uh, a couple valleys that the U.S. can use to flank undetected, but from that radio tower, they can really see quite a bit. Let's see if we can get over there and look at the sight lines here. Fly down that main river. So generally, the U.S. will move close enough that they can throw up a machine gun base. Let's say it's on this hill here, and then they'll throw up their yeah. pair of machine guns here, and their Humvee, and then try to suppress the hill while the infantry move in on foot underneath the fire. Um, you can pretty much do it 360 degrees. You just got to get there first, which is why the first 20 minutes of the game are usually uh, slower paced as teams are trying to figure out where the other team's going and what's going on. While the uh, militia here get to build a sandbag fortress... Sounds like they're probably doing the U.S. brief now. Let's see if we can get back to that. Get into one of our cameras. <sighs> Listening on Muff through the briefing here. <laughs> we are Great job, us round, everybody. So these guys. Everybody worked really well together. All the squad leads. Great job maneuvering everybody around. It was looking like whenever Pony Squad got like overran, I was scared. But three and four, y'all were able to collapse in really nicely, and two for dealing with that uh, outpost. So great job, everybody. Let's try and do that again.
Welcome to round two of Operation Whirlwind. The U.S. Army has been hired by AT&T to dig out the insurgent forces at the radio tower to uh, <laughs> start charging the people of Iraq overcharged <laughs> on plans. Uh, the, the, the plan T-Mobile is going to collect. <laughs> the plan is as follows: well. be leaving out of here north. They're the, they're the walkers. They're going to be moving northeast, and then they're trying. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. They're going to try and come into Radio Tower from the north, using about that area. Squad. Every other squad, two, three, and four, will be mounting up in a Humvee, Lodgy, or transport, and we will be going as south as south can go, basically to that uh, green fob marker. We're going to then proceed east from there. Uh, once we get to the uh, machine gun marker, squad. Two, yeah, squad two is going to break off. They're going to be our outpost. They're going to go take the Lodgy, and they're going to go set up the uh, two MGs to start laying down suppressing fire on Radio Tower. Uh, while three and four continue in the trans and Humvee east, and we're going to come up, basically get on this road at the, uh, the G12 mark, and then start moving north. And we're going to try and come into Radio Tower from the southeast. Are there any plan? Uh, any questions? Cool. All fine movement is up to your squad leads. Uh, there are no further questions. Uh, squad leads, break them out. Final details. I will call for love. We're good, Burns. Hey, not real quick. We need to be careful of because the rising. Push their main. Stopped expanding. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. All right, so that, that was a peek at the U.S. Uh, briefing. Looks like the militia are about to do theirs. Do we have a camera in there that we can listen in on? See, yeah, it looks like we can get in on expert and figure out what the how the militia are planning their defense. Looks like they're not quite ready here. Got one last one last squad falling in the line. Here they come. Sometimes you gotta herd the cats, right? All right, let's listen in with expert. Everybody stare at Emaus because he's late. I'm sorry. He's your volunteer. Shame. 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 Right, guys. Comms, comms, comms. Okay, so here's the deal. That was a great last round. Uh, they had no idea that we were coming from that south side. Uh, we caught them completely by surprise with their pants down. They had their entire team was somewhere else. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do pretty much what they did and put our entire team somewhere else. I don't think Shadowed is going to take that long route around. So instead, we're going to put our entire team in a essentially platoon line on the route that they're going to take. So Squad 2 is going to be hanging out in like Echo 8 on a hill. Here, I'll throw some marks down. Squad 2 is the Rifleman Mark. Squad 3 is going to be hanging out on the Target Mark. Squad 1 is going to be hanging out on the Mortar Mark. And Squad 4 is going to be hanging out on the Rocket Mark. Okay, guys. The way this is going to work is... Whoever runs into the enemy platoon is going to engage the enemy platoon, whichever squad. You guys will engage while the rest of the platoon collapses in and surrounds the enemy position. Okay, so whoever engages is essentially holding the platoon up, sticking them in place, suppressing them while the rest of the team moves into cover. Okay? Um, I will be taking one volunteer from squads two, three, and four, and we're going to be building up some light defenses on Radio Tower. Uh, if you hear the call to Alamo, that means just retreat to the tower, get back to the tower. Um, other than that, that's I mean it's pretty simple. So go ahead, squad leads, break them out. Um, creep. Um. All right, so there's the uh, insurgents' plan. Bold, bringing the fight to the U.S. more or less. Right. We'll see how that goes. I'm skeptical as to its success rate because that one squad that makes contact 
chances are they're going to get overwhelmed by the majority of the U.S. forces and eliminated before the other squads can react. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hey, call sign. How's it going? Glad you could join us. Looks like we're going to see if we can go down to our battlefield correspondent here. Seems to have somehow gotten onto the U.S. side this time. Yeah, don't everybody hop out at the same time. That's usually why. I'll just Let's see if we can get a morale check for the for the assaulting U.S. side. Can you, can you, okay. I can navigate. Get in. Let's go. Maf, get in the this truck. This is absurd, sir. Do you two suggest this? He's uh, okay. having a little so moment of calm here. Any U.S. forces have ever navigated like this ever before? If you listen but close enough. Inside the lodgy. You can Definitely hear his not. breathing. Really. Game? Definitely he's not. sorting out a very methodical. Like he's fixing. What you need for those long distance one taps? Uh, tapped out. It's a, it's a great time Someone needs to poke years. him. Get him out of his trance. Well, everyone. And he's back. I don't know references, and you're underage. Yeah, All right, let's, let's see if we let's see if we can get Muff Muff in here for some uh, boots hey, on hello. the ground. Hey, hey, there he is. All right, I'm uh, back at the battlefield. How do you feel, about, the do you feel about the situation down there right now? Well, we're confident. We're Muff, we're sure Muff, of our situation. Look, spirits are high. Yeah. How do you feel about your squad mates here? <laughs> hey, I feel like my squad buddy. mates are competent, yeah, well, able. They are. They're more than able to fin accomplish this task and clear out this radio tower that AT&T has hired the U.S. military to take over. Yeah, AT&T, they, they really like their towers. Uh, where are, are you in a vehicle right now, or are you on foot? I am actually in a vehicle. We are going to take this transport down the road and better position ourselves. It's a long walk up there, so it's going to be a lot more fruitful for our legs to, if we just drive up there a ways. Yeah, God, God help you if you have to go too far in the army. Walk too far. Who's driving that rig? I know that can be a dangerous job sometimes. <laughs> I don't even know who's driving it. I cannot tell. It's Krusty the Sailor. It is Krusty the Sailor. Krusty. I tell you with all assurance, it's Krusty the Sailor. We're going to be like heading east south right now. Taking a southerly route there, yep. Southwest, south side of the radio tower. Drifting around those corners. Woo! <laughs> Looks like that transport oh, we'll almost good. flipped there. I have full confidence in every one of my team members. All right, we will check back in with you later once we All right, get thank you very much. action here. Thanks for the update. You bet. Oh, okay. So it looks like the U.S. are basically doing the same thing from the get-go here. They got one squad on foot heading to the east. With the majority of the forces and vehicles heading south around the side. Right, around this next minute, the, roadblock the difference, of course, is going to be the militia side. Jahir Marquez asked, do I think it's up to skill? I think individual skill comes down to 40 to 50% of it. But when you get to teams that are this large, um, it gets diluted out a lot, right? When it's 5-on-5, five five, individual skill makes a huge difference. But when it's 40-on-40, 40 40, uh, not so much. One guy can still easily get suppressed, even if he's the best shot in the world. So tactics and strategy make up for a lot of it. But then when it comes down to those individual firefights, yeah. Truth, where do you turn off? So, yeah. Right here. Skill helps. I mean, some, some engagements more than others. Some of these ops are really down to individual firefights, but I think this one has a lot more maneuverability and uh, room for tactics and strategy to uh, win the day. Yeah, we can see all the insurgents here moving out in their fan. With one squad left at home. That'd be pretty funny if the same thing happened here and the U.S. swept all the way around and got behind them. Looks like, go oh, Krusty disconnected. Of course, the driver has a seizure on the road. It's always a risk in this. Uh, maybe it was a heat stroke. It is in the desert. I'm not in your squad. Gotta stay hydrated. 
Looks, looks like someone took over the wheel there. Get the medics on that man. That was Get him a banana bag. <laughs> So when that shit happens in, in our ops, uh, we do allow people to reconnect and rejoin um, as long as contact has not been made. So chances are he will uh, be able to do that. They'll just drop a rally for him and he'll be able to spawn in real quick. Uh, call sign Hotel asks, is Penn with us tonight? Yes, Penn is the man running his PBS broadcasting system behind the scenes, giving you all these cameras and multiple angles, picture in picture, maybe the occasional replay. Yeah, let's go over the cameras. We got Xbit, Evan SMA, Silent Death, Shadowed Ritual, Command for one side. Our correspondent Muff Bandit. Merrick 362. And XF. So those are all people that have volunteered to broadcast their signal out to us. If you want to be on, you know, it's easy to join this this list. All you need is just uh, talk to us and we'll set you up. And then we can grab your first person footage in op. And you won't even know it'll, it's happening. It's just suddenly we're broadcasting from you, which we can catch some pretty hilarious things sometimes. So people forget that it's happening. And then you catch these really candid moments of people shitting their pants in combat, things like that. It's great. All right, let's see what the uh, militia are setting up here. We got XF way up to the north. U.S. Squad One flanking to the north. They, if they continue on this vector, they're definitely going to get enveloped by the entire militia team here. Looks like they're bringing that rocket techie out here. Probably more of as a transport than uh, fire support. Follow me in. We're not going to be able to take the Humvees route. Yeah, militia pushing way out. U.S. moving around behind. We're going to have a similar situation to what happened in the first round, as long as nothing goes wrong, except the militia have even less defense at their main base. So it's going how I'm going to envision it. U.S. are going to sweep in, take out the four people that are there, and then they're on defense as the uh, militia get to come in and attack, except they have no heavy weapon support. Yep, this... Uh... Northern element. As soon as they cross that, they will be in visual contact. Yeah, once you guys have like literally miles. We... Yeah, like, it was a Here we go. We Come on over the hill. The they might catch the squad with their pants down. Too far. Copy. Makes sense. They're going to be Wait, largely unnoticed up there. I may have found a good spot to set up. This poor guy is in a bad position. Yeah, Here they come, cresting over. You're uh, like 100 meters ahead. It's uh, southeast. Oh, I see the peak. I can see it. Hello, don't move. Sailor. You can't. You can't see right, if you don't move. Sprint direct east as quick as you I mean, can. I, maybe not. You gotta. I wanna get down below. Yeah, yeah, you might be dead. I bet sure they've seen us already. No, they have. They have definitely not spotted us. Oof. It's the U.S. team. U.S. squad. Looks like they're able to. F Little. Well. They might be able to slip underneath. If that guy holds this... No, he just looked the other way! That or he saw them when he's falling back. But my guess is he turned at the exact wrong second and missed this fire team moving down the hill. No bueno. Yep, get spacey Guns going. Out. Okay. Watch your 360 spread out. 
They got a, they, they were set behind us, don't worry. It's probably it's a rocket techie. There's a rocket Sounds like they spotted the uh, convoy. It's probably in Chicago. That's probably why this guy turned around. They said, oh, we spotted the... Spotted contact in the south. When I risked some range shots from the hill... The US are building Attention. their fob. In Echo 11? That is... They're probably gonna set up some I doubt that'll the... have... Uh... Hotel 11. That is really far. Even for machine guns, that's really far. Yeah, Bravo, you might actually want to take the river, stay out of this uh, high country here. Oof. Copy that. Squ squad one over here. If their sense of smell is keen enough, they might be able to figure out that the militia were just in their position. Now it's always interesting to see if they have trigger discipline here and what their real rules of engagement are. It's always up to the squad leader. Your weapon's hot or weapon's tight. Oh shit. Okay, they've spotted each other. Yep. Rockets coming out. Whoa! The rockets actually pick up a double kill. That's, I think it's the first time I've ever seen that. Good use of those. Oh, squad lead goes down. So this northern element just got cut down by three. Oh my god. Get hard cover between you and it. And they're in this Fucking bowl, man. which is about to be compromised here. Oh, this poor guy. He just got hit twice. We found a rocket techie. I think the rocket techie found you. I don't think you found it. You lost four. Uh, yeah. So we saw uh, they're not gonna be able to break contact here very easily. They got this hill to run up, and these guys are gonna be coming I cannot in. Cross, I cannot cross this open field right now. I'm stuck. XF separated from his group. He's probably in the best position of anybody. So basically, the U.S. lost their northern fire team, northern squad. Even if a couple of them survive, they're going to be combat and ineffective because they are basically facing the entire militia. They're getting hammered on the south soon. Do you guys? They're going to see me. XF might be able to pick up a cheeky kill or two here. They're literally on top of me. All right. Well. He's scared. It's a tough position to be in. He's, he's hearing this firing up above him. I think he sees it now. Here we go. See if he can line up that one tap. Oh, great shot! Great shot! Yeah, I'm playing dead right now. And since it was only one shot, it's really hard for these guys to zero in on it. Oh, looks like they found him. Put one into his shoulder. Yeah, now you're in for a world of hurt here. Oh, goes down to the bleeding. But that was an excellent one tap. Oh, RPG coming out. So who's left over here? One. One poor US hiding in a bush. Now is always the question is, do I open up or do I just hide? If you open up, you might get a kill or two. But you're also going to die. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the best place to hide. And he's excited to fire. Drops one. Good shot. Drops two. And then gets shot in the ass. So one is done. But... The entire militia team is now way to the north of the objective. Unfortunately, the U.S. have not really used this as an opportunity to move in. I mean, they didn't really know what was going on up there. They didn't realize that the entire militia team was on that um, yeah, kill mission up there. Oh, it looks like we got squad two down here moving towards the U.S. FOB. 
flying over him now. Can you resume the original position? Expert squad. They probably know they're roughly in this area, but not exactly where they are based on their movement vector here. Well, now we got the 50 cals coming out. Look at the range on that. So we got five guys here putting fire in. I mean, at that range, you were talking about adjusting your mouse by a single pixel. Just up or down. And you can see the commander here, squad leader with his binoculars out, guiding that stuff in. You can see the tracers. Look at how long it takes the tracers to, to get from point A to point B. Oh! I saw blood. At this range, I guess they're not lethal. I mean, they're putting in good suppression here. Unfortunately, there's only like three or four guys down there that they're suppressing. They're getting good hits, though. Ooh, that was perfect. So they do have squad two moving up underneath them. And they're going to be totally oblivious here. Well, we might have one guy that's pulling security here. Who is that? Muff Bandit pulling security. Let's see, maybe we can go into uh, get some audio from our correspondent here. See what he feels like on the ground. Maybe. Let's see if we can get the satellite connection up. Got his phone out. Right. Muff, can you hear us? Hello, yes, this is Muff. Yeah. What's the situation there at that fire base up there? Well, we've got a couple of 50 cals set up here. We're firing straight at the radio tower. We've got the squad command here, squad leader. He's got the binox out. Oh, there's some tracers going by. This is a dangerous you situation. Pretty fearless up there. You're just standing there. Those tracers are going right over your shoulder. Those are you know, you can't be afraid in the heat of battle. <laughs> but the story needs to get out and be told. You have to stay in there. We're going to look right over the shoulder of this commando. Oh, look at him go. He's reckless. All right. Thanks for that update. We'll let you get back to it, doing what you do Thank best. Thank you so much. All right. Looks like he's back in the action there. Little does, little does he know... We got Xbit and Torch, we got we got a full team coming up underneath him. Let's try to keep stick to element, so let's get close. Oh. Roger. My little buddy can probably won't be able to do it. Loading. I'll make it shut off this fucking thing. Alright, the meanwhile the US team is trying to push across the river. Taking their time with it. We'll see here. Looks like the U.S. are still reeling with the loss of Squad 1. Soon to be the loss of whatever this fire team is up here. Well, we'll see. You never know. We got Alan King, 33, holding the left flank. Fire team coming up on the left. Oh, they're getting flanked on both sides. Anvon Solo here is in a good position. See these guys coming up underneath him. Ooh, ooh. Here we go. Here we go. Is he sleeping? <laughs> Wake up! Oh, yeah, there you go. Keep moving. Yep. He's right next to you. Wow, he might be zoomed in. Mm. Dude, we don't have him as a camera. Oh, oh. 
Does this guy see him? I feel like this insurgent has spotted Han here. See that vehicle moving left to right by the radio station? Oof! Oof! Look! Wow! You have to see that, right? Yeah, there you go. He's like, oh shit, there's one right there. This is, this is what he sees. Nothing. That's bad news. Just on his right. These guys are crawling up. On the left side, the trio getting set. U.S. Humvee moving in real close underneath. I really want to catch this execution though. They're getting real I'm gonna, cheeky. I'm gonna nade this saw gunner that's security over here. So let me. Maybe it was a good call. Here. Maybe the shot from down here. Wow, he is silhouetted so hard up there. There's no way they missed that. Get your gun out. <laughs> Oh. Maybe they're just going to sneak right by him. Yeah, there's no way. I think it's the Lodgy. Command, you might want to try and uh, take that Lodgy. Come on, guys. At me. Yeah, we're going to try and take down this Lodgy. Go, go execute this guy. You've got to. You can't leave him there. Alright, two's on standby. When you want us to, whenever you want us to suppress it, suppress it again, we'll hit him. <laughs> what the? He's grenade. He's really? You're gonna? Wow. That. Wow. I mean, I guess it worked out, but now they know that could have been a single shot. Easily. Well, I guess he's gonna distract him. I think this fire team over here putting the herd in on the side. Is Muff down? No, there he is. He's running over to support the other side. All right. We'll check in on these guys after. Let's go check the action at the radio tower. Two of them at least. Looks like the militia have hardened up. That Humvee's just running circles around him, though. So we got one militia squad in Ali Abad. Two. Yeah, it looks like two squads on the point proper. And the U.S. are coming in from the same vector they did last time. Red, let's go, let's go. Yeah, Muff, there were two on that, uh, where that smoke is. Red, you're gonna get surrounded. Actually, you know what, fuck, we can hold it. We can hold it. Like okay, X-Bit went down somewhere. Are the US leaving this Humvee here? We have the advantage here, we can fuck it, guaranteed. Oh, they high-centered the Humvee. That's rough. It's an expensive piece of hardware right there. How did he do that? It's a fancy piece of driving right there. <laughs> did I just hear that right? Yeah, I know where the east ones. Two, what's the contact like? Are you able to break right from there? Truth Realm just sentenced Cantador. To the gun. Oh, and he's gonna fire through these trees to try to suppress and then be executed.
RPG comes out. Nailing that Humvee. Suppressing fire going down painfully close to that guy, but he retreats. Humvee explodes. Fifty cal fire coming down from the radio tower. So that'll draw their attention to the north. He's hidden. Don't cast judgment. Not hidden anymore. All right. Four got spotted. So the infantry, U.S. infantry push, for the most part, looks like it has been spotted. Now they got to run up the hill. Which they have decent cover at. But that's gonna be tough. Wow, am I seeing that correctly? Yeah, US have lost 15. Looks like they lost that entire. Yep, the machine gun fire base is down. All those guys are down. So the only US we got here are on the north, east, and southeast of the radio. I don't think we're gonna have any major surprises left. Now it's just now it's just a firefight. Not doing lodge runs. That's that's just as good. We're gonna start pushing from this. Tell them I'm moving to hook up with them, and then we're gonna uh, move in with four. U.S. trying to get some 203s in on this. That's tough because you're shooting them uphill, trying to land them on a flat uphill. This militia is in a great position down here. Shoot him in the back as they go up the hill. Nice job, Hamlet. This may still work, guys. We're getting close. We're getting good. Do this. Hamlet getting dirty. Oop. 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 Hamlet gets him. Catches him with his weapon out. Not out, rather. Hamlet pulling his pistol. Might catch one through the smoke here. Still got his pistol out. That's ballsy. Gonna run right past him. They're not gonna even see each other. Oh! Dropped. Brutal. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. U.S. on this assault. Couple, couple more in the north. Basically, the militia are in firm control of this right now, from my point of view. Right up on these guys. Up the hill. U.S. are kind of right, up on it. West. Four, how's your progress? U.S. squad in the far north getting spotted out by that heavy, heavy gun. Wow, that was a really nice rocket. Who shot that? That was brilliant. This guy. Who is this? M.D. Grimm. Excellent shot. Oh! And the point blank one hits him right in the chest. I'm with your fire team now, we're getting close. And he's gonna pick up a third. Yep. Now the explosives are coming out. Oh maybe it could have been this guy with that long range shot. One of these two. Who is this? Revy. Alright, you got, got 
U.S. Don't fire let sneak around behind us. Getting some good explosive damage in on the firebase. Shattered ritual in there. Doing some damage. 203 taking down those sandbags. Getting smoke up there. Hear him chattering a little bit. Let's keep him pushing though. Let's keep pushing. Let's get in this. Mag dumping into their defenses. Just keep getting in this. Keep getting in one this. Of my, Let's go. One of my pet peeves. No reason to mag dump. Here we go. US are up on the walls. I think he sensed it. I think he saw that through the smoke right there that there's a couple. Copy, copy. Watch her here. This is command right here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Dropped through the car in dramatic fashion. Shadow goes down, so just just like that, that U.S. assault is pretty much blunted. One guy left on the walls, a couple to the northeast. He could be coming down to it pretty quick here. As soon as this guy fires, he hopefully he gets a kill. He's got a guy really close to him that he has no clue of. Who is this? Mojave. Can you see that? Nope. Anyone else on command? It's always such a tenuous position right here. You never know if someone's coming up behind you. There's one going across your front. There you go, take that shot. This is when you can tell you can tell guys are nervous when they take half a mag to do that when it should have been two rounds. Gets two kills with that mag though. Nice work, Mojave. I can guarantee you his heart is jacked right now. His heart rate. Oh, goes down firing. Who do we got left? Is it is it just truth? Is he the last one? All right, truth. It's up to you. It's um looking tough. Tough job in front of you. Looks like they don't know where he is. He's got that going for him. Is a enemy is 180 degrees, basically everywhere in front of him. Moving up parallel with a whole fire team here. He doesn't even know it. Hashtag pray for truth, right? Yeah. It's the dirt. I do like that. Using a tree like this and then getting your optics out, because they're not gonna really gonna be able to look back through it. But with your magnification and optics, lining up a shot. Nope. Damn. Get your gun out. Get your gun out. No, you're right, Pixel. This will not end well for truth, especially if he doesn't get his gun out when he's advancing. There he goes. Don't do it. Not yet.
Yeah, Liam. You are absolutely correct. As soon as he fires, they will zero in on him. Got to get up close. Maybe use a grenade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It's happened before. Fourteen kills in a game. It's pretty pretty goddamn rare though. How's he doing so far? Truth. Nothing so far. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Do you see it? Hit the deck, I think he saw it, yep. Come on, peek your head out and be one of the last ones. <laughs> well, he'll peek his head out, but I don't think he's gonna be one of the last ones. Good shot, good shot. Kills one. Hope you enjoyed that on Discord, boys. <laughs> now you're getting cheeky, dude. Now you're getting cheeky. And now they're all facing this way, though. Here they come. Evan coming in from the south. Three guys real close to him. He's in a decent position here. He's got concealment and cover. Can't shoot through the tree, though. Drops one. There's two for him. Oh, oh. Look right. Two coming up on his right. His only hope is to not move. Drops another. There it is. Good game. They car out with the final kill. Well, that was round two. Whirlwind. This is Squad Ops. I'm Tedish. Let's see if we can get some interviews in here. Let's see if we can get our war correspondent. And maybe some commanders. Excellent two rounds, somewhat somewhat familiar, uh, similar rather, but uh, yeah. Let's see who we can get here. All right, so we definitely got our war correspondent there. Muff, how's it going? He's still with us, trying to get that satellite connection. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> He might be in one of his little seances here. All right, we've also got we've got satellite connection to Shadow Ritual Command here. So, you with us, Shadow? Yep. What's up? Yeah, there you are. So, how the what was your strategy there for those two rounds? Um, the first round was to play pretty hard on the on the point with uh one to two squads sort of being able to flank and maneuver, and I felt that worked out. Really nicely. It was super back and forth the initial round, or, or the the first round where my, the the squad the the flankers weren't moving as quick as I needed them to, and I I was so worried whenever the the US actually got in, but they were able to, to sweep back in and get them. The second round, our North squad got spotted insanely quick, like in the Chikarkot area, which we were not expecting at all. And then just coming from the south, basically a north and a south push on the second round, which just failed. Well, it was interesting because basically, yeah, both rounds, the U.S. had roughly the same strategy where they sent one squad to the northeast and then they sent everybody else down to the south in the vehicles. Um, the difference is the militia strategy the second round was they sent out all their squads except for a command and a couple guys to build. And they sent them out basically in a north-south line. So, yeah, your squad uh, in the north, not your squad, but that squad one in the north, uh, I got spotted out, surrounded, and just basically executed by more or less 80% of the militia team. So that was the difference there. Um, but yeah, it was uh, great maneuvering on both teams' part, um, especially in the first round. That was uh, quite a dance. I don't know how much of it was intentional, but there was some great uh, near near spottings, and uh, one guy looks the wrong way in one second, and then an entire team, like an entire squad slips by him type of deal so some some nice tense moments leading up to a great 
chaotic battle in the end. It was, uh, yeah, you can't plan for that. It's just once you get into it, yeah. Hamburger. Is Muff, did he ever make it in here? Is he listening in? Or is that? Oh, yeah, I made it in here. Yeah, you made it back. All right. Got reconnected. So how did that? It's a rough uh, one. How did your little uh, skirmish up top there on that fire base end up? Boy, that was rough. We didn't even see them coming until they were coming from the north and the south at the same time. And we might have got one or two of them. But for the most part, they surrounded us real quick and took advantage of their surprise attack. And that was about it. They wiped us real quick. We were a smaller squad, too. We weren't a full squad. So that didn't do us any favors either. From our satellite view, it looked like there were roughly five of them assaulting you guys up there. So Oh, well, they crushed close. us. Yeah, <laughs> they, they massively had the uh, element of surprise on you there. So They sure did. But yeah, thoughts overall? Good op? How'd it go? Always a fun one. Yeah, this op's a classic. And it basically comes down to execution. Like It's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, there you have it. All right. So that was uh, two rounds of Whirlwind, Squad Ops, One Life event. Come check us out. Hang out on Discord, squadops.gg. And uh, let's see, our next op is going to be this coming Wednesday. Do we know which operation it is at this point? Let's see. I can pull it up here. I mean, they're all, they're all good. It's Operation. our Halloween themed ops for the Operation Scarecrow. Yeah, okay. This is a new one. I don't. Even, I'm not even familiar with the. Uh, what's uh, what the? What's it gonna be? Oh, it looks like it's on Fool's Road. Interesting. Okay. Well, you we have to tune into that one or join us for it. Um. Yeah, it looks like a little hide and seek action. Ooh, that looks fun. All right. Well, check it out. Check us out. Squadops.gg. One life event. I am Tedish, joined you here. Bleh, joined here with uh, Shadow Ritual and Muff for post action debrief. Of course, Pen behind the cameras. And, and creeping, creeping made it in. Yeah, I made it in at the oh, last. Oh, there second. he is. The last second. How did that go? How did those rounds go for you from your perspective? Oh, I loved them. Um, that first round, I was freaking out that you guys were seeing us on the ridge there, but I guess you had nobody looking south. Yeah, we, we had a few guys looking were, south. We're but pretty not visible. That far south. Yeah, apparently they weren't looking up. Oh, no, um, we were watching like there's a river and like uh, the like the base of the mountain. We definitely weren't looking super far south up. Yeah. Well, we we used that lesson from the first round to make sure that we had guys looking during the second. So we saw those uh, that fob go up almost instantly as soon as the emplacements were there. So we we had seen you guys before you started firing on us. How how was that fire coming in? Because it was that was some pretty extreme range, even for fifties. Was that effective on the receiving? It was. End, I don't was think it... anybody. I don't think anybody got hit on the uh, insurgent side on that. Um, but it was dialed in enough to make us keep our heads down. Um, and then we were using scouts and binocs to try and dial back in on the other side. I don't know if we killed anybody. I think you wounded one, but I didn't see anyone go down from the fire. Of course, you distracted them so that your fire team could move up and execute them uh, close range. But uh, yeah, it's always it's always fun to watch machine guns dueling from over a kilometer away. But uh, yeah, well, good job. Yeah, that first round was a uh, was great maneuvering, watching the team slip by each other and then come back for the clash. All right, any final thoughts before we let everyone get back to their lives here? I gotta get some dinner myself. If not, all right, this is Squad Ops signing out. Two operations of Whirlwind. All right, everybody, have a good night.